thing to control the black population. We thought it was going to wipe them out, but what it ended up doing is that it's wiping out gay men, and gay men are mostly white, uh -uh. and white men are mostly powerful, and powerful men are the ones that invented... Wait, wait, wait no, so hold up, dog. Wait, 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 wait. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. What? You said what? Yes, you said, Dr. You said... Dr. Fauci invented HIV as part of his gain-of-function research because since them and Dr. Fauci and all of them told us that HIV started in the African jungle, those people have not stopped eating bushmeat. Those people still eat bushmeat to this day. How come South Africa has got the highest HIV rate, but we don't eat bushmeat? But over there where they eat bushmeat, where the HIV is supposed to come from, there's no more HIV. Why? So tell me something. Tell me something. Do you think that Sheba is racist? Look, I think that, yes, I'll tell you why. So, that tiger is racist, no doubt. That tiger is racist. Uh, what I'm trying to say is this the tiger epidemic that we have here is because white people are allowed to have tigers as pets. You're not allowed to keep lions as pets because they're indigenous, but there's no law to bar you from having um, tigers as pets. So, we've got thousands of tigers in South Africa that are being kept as pets. And because of the bread and captivity um, and the, the lack of export opportunities during COVID, we had a high tiger population that was just growing and tigers were being sold for very cheap prices to a whole lot of people. So they're spreading everywhere. So a lot of these good cities, So how do they train the tiger? How do they train the tiger to be they racist? A, they don't train it to be racist. They, 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 they live in poor townships, uh, well, in poor neighborhoods amongst majority of black people and the majority of black people are the ones whose walls don't have security whose dogs are outside and everything else so when that thing goes out the easiest targets are amongst the black houses because they're the least guarded that's all it Shit. is so and and, and in walkerville it's Mara, what black kind town. of it's appetite do you think this tiger has because but it is wait wait wait, mm. wait 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 before we get to the tiger i want to explain something to you because this is a war on black men bro I need to explain it to you because it's bigger than what we think it is. It's really big, dog. Mm. So what I'm trying to explain to you about the one black man is that when they failed with the HIV, you must remember that HIV was invented in a lab, right? When they failed to kill off our population and our breeding with HIV, yeah. they then decided, okay, the best way is through the black woman. So they destroyed the image of the black man in the black woman's eyes. So mm. if you look at advertising, you never see strong good-looking, masculine males. Yeah. They, they tried to do that. We had that, you know, the, there was a black effect um, experience. Uh, the, 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 what, what, not black effect. It was called the black, what, what was it called in the 70s? The, the cinema scene that had all those black movies, the shark. Well, shark wasn't one of them, but all yeah. the black movies. Yeah. And all of them were trying to make this black alpha male. The black yeah. alpha male. All of yeah. that. All of that was killed in the 90s. It mm -hmm. was killed in the 90s. And then we saw the last drips and drabs of the black alpha male, right? So it was yeah. now trying to bring the, the black family man, whatever, the Tay Diggs of this world. Where is Tay yeah. Diggs now? Where is Tay Diggs now? I have no idea, bro. Everybody loved those black movies and they had strong black masculine males. What happened to those movies? They they, they, they substituted them for Mama Dear movies. You understand what I'm saying? You understand? And then all of a sudden we removed the black alpha male. Now we've removed the black alpha male. So what do we do? We make the black toxic masculinity. We create the black mm -hmm. toxic masculinity now all we see is in the 2000s black toxic masculinity black toxic masculinity black toxic masculinity and then we see black women fighting against black male toxic masculinity yeah. now it's a war between black women and black men where are the white elites in that they are making babies yeah they're building families they've got family values if you go to the, the, the baby city, the picture of the advertisement is the white man, the white baby, the white wife. 
the black woman, single mother, her baby, daddy gone. You understand what I'm Just saying? Just hold on one second for me, Nota. Hold on one second for me. Easy, my G. All of that shit. Bro. So we're in a pandemic here, my brother. It's a serious we're pandemic. We're in a pandemic. So they brainwashed the black women. We cannot trust black women to have our best interests at heart. Unfortunately, yeah. they've been brainwashed. It's not their fault. All the media they're exposed to is owned by their enemies, dog. Cosmopolitan Mag was, it was designed to make girls into holes, to make them promiscuous, to make them give up their virginities, all of that stuff. To say you should have 20 sexual experiences before you feel like you're ready to settle down and find a husband. Shit. Knowing that if you have more than five sexual partners, it makes it almost impossible for you to be satisfied sexually by your husband. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? So th 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 there was a science to this, dog. Yeah. It's called eugenics. These guys are eugenicists. Now, who is the most famous eugenicist in the world? In, in, not in the world, in South Africa. The most famous eugenicist. Clive Darby Lewis. Who is yeah. Clive Darby Lewis? He is the guy that organized, arranged, and orchestrated the, the killing, the murder, the assassination of Chris Tani. Oh, shit. You understand That's what I'm big. saying? Yeah. So the, Clive Darby Lewis's goal was to kill the black alpha male. The black alpha male was Chris Tani at that point in time. Yeah. He was a young... And what do you consider... What do you consider Mandela to have been at that time then? Mandela is a moral higher ground. Mandela was yeah. like the grandfather who's innocent. He's the saint. You understand? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was the one who made us aspire to higher morality. And that, mm -hmm. that was his role. Mm -hmm. But there were mm -hmm. supposed to be those who come after him who are then the ones who are the bulldozers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they killed those. They killed the alpha males. So all the alpha males, all the males that can stand up and fight for themselves, you are one of them. They make sure yeah. that they destroy all of you. And then who are the other males that are prominent right now in any space, in comedy, in acting? There's no prominent proper male. This guy. What in South guy? Africa, yes, you are right. What's this guy? What's this guy? Um, um, uh, SK Causa. Yeah. Causa is probably one of the most popular actors on DSTV TV shows. Because he's fucking everybody, bro. That's fine. Uh, that that fuck everyone on TV, bro. Like that guy is getting letters from that's old women, young women, fine. you that name it, bro. That, that I understand, and it's fine. So, yes, he can fuck his way to the top. But the thing is this they don't want him to be a good role model, they don't want him to be, to be an example. These guys have all the resources. This is fucking GST, this is multi choice, dog. Why can't they put that motherfucker in rehab and make sure that he's there for his kids, he's there for his family? You understand? Mm. Then they're willing to use him to act in these TV shows where they are underpaying him. They're not even paying him what he's supposed to be paid. And then they then, then they make him a toxic black male. Then they just destroy his reputation. Then they make sure that his kids see him in that light. Then they make sure his kids will never respect him. His family will never respect him. You understand? But, but, but he's, 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 he's embracing that shit, man. He's embracing it. He also has the OnlyFans account and shit. Acted. He's an addict, dog. He's sick, dog. You can't tell me what the actions of an addict. He's a drug addict and he's No, sick, you bro. can't he's say acting. that, Nota. You can't say that. SK is a sex god, bro. SK is a sex that's god. Cool. That's what he's, he, he's, that's his thing. He, but, but he's a sex addict. That's my thing. Is that What I'm trying to say is to you is that earlier I told you, for me, I don't value myself based on how many women want to have sex with me. Whereas yeah. other men do and that's why they get trapped in the sex addiction because when they feel like women don't want to have sex with them they feel like they're valueless so they'll do anything and everything to ensure they can have as much sex as possible because that's what gives them value it was it, it, it's what gives them a false sense of confidence but they don't have self-esteem you understand what i'm saying yeah so their self-esteem is based on the fact that they can get women to lay them and they will do any and everything to get women to lay them that is an addiction it's a sickness and when our brother is doing that, we don't celebrate him and say, ah, oh, sex child, buddy, I'm a third but We say, Mpana, we need to fix this because there's a hole in your soul that is not going to be filled in these pussies. Shit. That's it.
That's what we need to do to our brothers. We but when have you ever have hollered back at the bro? Have you ever hollered back at him though and say, yo, my dog is no. talk? I, I've never had the opportunity. I've never had the opportunity. Mm. You understand? I've never had the opportunity. But let me tell you one thing. I'm not going to be over there fanboying and supporting this this um um baby mama of his that says Yingam Tagata, you'll never have any good luck in Santa Kenny Valile. And people are celebrating that. That's what I'm condemning. I'm saying this brother, we're saying our brother is sick, he's in distress. That is not a normal behavior. So why would so you, you must use people like me to lawyer lie? them back? You must use people like me to lawyer them back. But we must help our brother. We mustn't get back at the enemies or the people that are laughing. Let us help our brother back up. You understand? Let yeah. Us, yeah. Let us help our brother. Because let me tell you something. These women, right, they will be brainwashed back into loving themselves and into seeing us as partners and people who they can build futures with when they see how much we love ourselves and how we show that love for ourselves by loving one another as black brothers. Because if I love myself as a black brother, I want to give that love to my other black brothers because I know how much love we've been denied in this world. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I know my black I... brother has denied love, dog. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I said on my, you know what I posted on my Twitter earlier on this week? I posted a tweet saying that I will not apologize for being a man in South Africa. Exactly. And, and, also, and that shit went I viral, bro. It went viral. Women are angry. They're like, you must imagine. apologize for being a man. It's like, what the imagine. fuck, man? We, we, consider, man, we just we must trash, bro. And a huh? woman will say to you, uh, uh, why haven't you reached out to SK Koza? I'm not SK Koza's family member. Why haven't you reached out to his employers, the people that pay him a salary, GSTV? Why haven't you guys started a petition? You guys that watch TV, you guys that pay the GSTV subscriptions. I don't pay a GSTV subscription. I don't move out of that TV. You understand? Why don't you guys help? You don't want to help. You want to see destruction. And you don't ask yeah. me what I've done to help. Because I've done more than you've ever done to help other people who are strangers to me, who are not my family, who are not my blood. I've dedicated my life to helping others. I will never allow anybody to ask me why I'm not helping. Because, Mina, I've helped. My entire life I've been helping. I've been a helping hand all the time. And I don't do it to make myself feel better. I do it because I can and it fulfills me. And I won't stop doing it because I don't do it to gain favor from people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just who I am, dog. I, I feel yeah. useless if I'm not helpful. Mm. Mm. So when I believe that South Africa should actually be the ones that stand up and, and assist those that they can see are in trouble because they're the ones that are paying for the uh, subscriptions. They're the ones that are watching them on TV. Uh, is that what you're saying? But that's what we're doing, dog. When we saw Zola was in trouble, what did we do? I went to as go and public. visit. Yeah. No, but I understand. Yes, but as a public, we went. The, the Chris Excel that they're saying, oh, Chris Excel is this big troll who hates people. Chris Excel is the reason why people donated to Zola. Chris Excel is the reason why people donated to uh, Dr. Malinga. Chris Excel is the reason why people were donating to celebrities who were struggling. No one was able to stand up for anybody. You understand what I'm saying? So Chris Excel stood up for a lot of guys and they call him a troll and everything else. Dude, yeah. come on, that's a faceless man, but he helped raise the consciousness of people to say we cannot allow our stars to die like postman we cannot allow uzola to be suffering after everything he's done to contribute to the 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 the, 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 the esteem of a black man for internet to believe that they're capable of conquering the world they needed to see zola do it yeah. they needed to see zola go to the oscars they need to see zola there playing at the royal albert hall you understand what i'm saying they yeah to see that and they saw that and it, it made them believe that their dreams were valid it's possible for them to do it. Because of Zola, we have got all these guys who are able to come out of the hood to take their families out of generational poverty, all of the inspiration that he, he gave to people. And who started that initiative? It was the biggest troll in the country, the person who they say has got the coldest heart, but he's done the most. Now, the people who call this person a troll, the people who call this person the coldest heart, what have they done for others? Nothing. They've broken people's families, they've broken people's marriages, they've entered in people's relationships, they've done all these toxic things. And then yeah. they go out there and then they ask South Africans, please support me, please buy tickets to my shows, please uh, uh, show me love, show me support and everything else. 